The Devils are back home on Tuesday night where they kick off a three-game homestand uh, but when they host the St. Louis Blues at the Prudential Center. Uh, and they're kicking off a really important part of their schedule where they have the chance to prove whether they're going to be in this for the long haul or uh, if they're going to face some adversity and uh, start to fall apart a little bit. Last year, uh, they started off the season 9-3-3, three, and three, and this is where at the point where things kind of fell apart. Uh, they're 9-3-1 three, and one right now, so this is a really important time for them to prove uh, that they're here to stay and they want to contend uh, all the way into March uh, and April and potentially even May if they're ready to make that kind of run. Uh, coming up with the Blues tonight uh, on Tuesday night, they also have the Oilers on Thursday, the Panthers on Saturday before they begin a four-game road trip against the Blackhawks, the Maple Leafs, the Jets, and the Wild coming up next week. So a really important stretch for them. Uh, where they'll gonna, they're they're going to need to win some games to kind of keep going and build off the nine three and one start they've had. Uh, another tough part of this schedule is going to be if they're going to have Kyle, uh, Marcus Johansson or Kyle Palmieri back in the lineup. Uh, both missed the majority of that Western Canada trip. Uh, it seems like Kyle Palmieri is getting pretty close. He was skating on his own in New Jersey. Uh, probably won't play on Tuesday night, but looking like he might be ready for Thursday or at least the weekend if he can get back into practice and ready to go. Uh, with Johansson and the concussion, you never know uh, how long the timetable is going to be on that kind of injury. So the Devils hope it's shorter than later, but we'll see in short time if he can get back uh, to normal hockey activity and get back in the lineup. Uh, without them, with or without them, the Devils will have to kind of tread water. And if they can stay uh, in, in in the race and keep winning a few games without them, they'll be in good shape when they do return to the lineup. And with Travis Sajak potentially about a month away from returning as well. Uh, and another thing with them after their Western Canada trip, uh, another rough trip for the defense, giving up four four goals in their loss to the Flames, six to the Oilers. Uh, it's another area where they want to shore up the goals. They're able to kind of match on a night-to-night basis. They're scoring four or five more often than not, but that's not going to happen every game. And uh, for them to be in contention all season long, they're going to need to find ways to plug that defense a little bit and start limiting teams to two, three a night if they want to be able to win on a more consistent basis and build off the 9-3-1 start they've had so far.